And this week I'm going to talk about you matter, how you matter, and uh, with that self-leadership. Uh, sometimes when we look at leaders or leadership, you know, we have this vision of political figures and uh, or, you know, some other figures, you know, uh, that contributed somehow to society, you know, be it a civil rights or other things. So uh, that's the leadership thing. But, you know, what I'm talking about is what about you, uh, the individual, uh, you know, how does leadership affect you? And, you know, for the most part, it's, you know, self-leadership. You know, you do all the things you do in your life, and that's part of managing yourself, being your own leader, uh, outside of being part of organizations where you may have a boss or something like that. Uh, being in charge of yourself, that's just part of it. And, uh, you know, and my bit of advice or tie-in here is about, you know, being a sheep, what they call a sheep, which is like a follower, just blindly following something. Uh, don't be a sheep just because it sounds right. Uh, there could be another perspective, not influenced by family, friends, media, or agents, uh, or agenda, I'm sorry. And, uh, you know, so it just depends on what situation, you know, be it school, you know, job, uh, other things that you're involved in. Uh, there could be outside influences that might not necessarily be pushing you in the direction you would normally go. So that's why I'm mentioning this. Be your own superhero, be your own cheerleader, and be your own leader. Don't allow yourself to get distracted. Uh, if you don't know, this is uh, from the movie Up in the Air. This is Do uh, Doug the dog, and he gets distracted by squirrels sometimes. So my point here is just don't let yourself get distracted. Don't let events uh, take you away from your goals. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things in life. This is just one example here, but, you know, uh, other distractors in your life or events may not be this extreme, uh, but, you know, there's still there's things that go on in your lives that may take away from you achieving your goals. And uh, I'm not saying don't be concerned or have empathy, you know, if you're supporting some sort of a cause or you're distracted by a cause. Uh, but I'm also saying, you know, you still matter, your focus, your concerns, and you should also know the facts, not the agenda of a cause. Uh, regardless of what that cause, or be it politics, be it uh, some social justice issues, whatever it's going on, just do your homework and make sure you're understanding all aspects and perspectives. Life can get in the way. Current events, be it positive or negative, can distract, can change perspectives, can be misleading or outright incorrect or wrong. The debate about wearing a mask. Uh, you know, wearing a mask uh, does not stop you from getting the virus. This was the initial belief by sci not the politicians, but not scientists, doctors. And a few months later, they came out with a wearing a mask helps prevent spreading and getting the virus. And so this was something that was uh, a little different. Uh, the, these doctors uh, found out that something they believed their entire lives suddenly changed. And they thought, well, hey, maybe maybe we were wrong about this. And that's what I'm talking about when you've got to be open to opposing views, you know, that could change your mind or what your perspective is. Uh, don't let the you know charisma, uh, fake news, things like that mislead you. I got, I got the the Hitler photo there as an example of somebody who was, that was very charismatic, and it didn't matter what came out of his mouth, he was able to galvanize, you know, World War II. Uh, so you know that's what I'm talking about charisma. We also got a lot of fake news out there. Uh, so whatever the case is, just don't let the charisma or fake news mislead you, distract, destroy your vision, and destroy your future. Also, just for your information, both political parties are experts at using charisma and fake news. Hence, be your own leader and finder of facts versus myth. You know, when you see, there's a station here in St. Louis, which I'm surprised they do the fact finding and they're not biased. Uh, that's the part that surprised me is that they're not biased because most news stations have a bias one way or the other. But uh, And every week, you know, they do their things almost every night and you know, half of what they show it shows that it was a it was a false statement by be it the Democrats or the Republicans. So you know, it's very uh, fair on that part. So which is rare to see. But anyway, uh, you matter. Your opinions, your views, not something someone else tells you. Uh, the view, the only view, and no other. And by that I mean, you know, don't necessarily listen to other people telling you how to think. I guess that might be another way to say it. Uh, I use the example of kneeling during the anthem. That's a very controversial topic. 
And, uh, you know, uh, you know, view number one, of course, is standing against injustice, you know, social justice issues and everything like that. And, you know, great cause and everything. Uh, but that's just one view of it. There's another view out there about disrespecting and insulting the country and its military, alive and dead. And now I will admit, being a retired Army guy, I might be biased on this topic because I do think it's a, a, an insult because uh, I think it's two separate issues. It doesn't mean I don't understand and agree with the first issue uh, that there, there's a problem out there. But um, my solution would have been, uh, if anybody asked me, was to take a knee after the anthem. Uh, that would get more positive attention. It wouldn't create division. It would have probably united everybody against, okay, we need, we, we have an issue here we need to fix. So, but my point here is there are different perspectives sometimes, and we, we may not even realize it. It's about considering the different perspectives and opposing views and not the thing of that there's only one view or one you know decision. So, uh, the happy clock, I went over last week, you know, you're in charge of your clock, your life. You know, make sure you're in charge. You have self-discipline, time management, be in charge of your life. Your life, mat you know, your life matters and just be in charge. Don't, um, I'm sorry, work on achieving your goals and agenda, not someone else's. And that's the thing. You've got to be in charge of yourself. Don't let other people influence you uh, in a negative direction, whatever it may be, or overwhelm you or get you, you know, get you worked up over whatever the issue might be in your life. So uh, that's my point. Uh, stay focused, uh, manage your time, manage your life, and just remember you do matter.